What's up YouTube? In today's video, we're gonna break down how to identify when a woman is playing you and the early signs you need to look for. Now, a lot of men are being played by women these days. And I know this because I talk to hundreds of men and women on a monthly basis and they have confirmed that this is going on. And this is another reason why I asserted myself into this space to bring these things to light because I'm tired of seeing men get abused in relationships and told to be a man and suck it up. Now. Before we get into it, sadly, one of the biggest reasons you're being played is because you don't know the signs to look for when it happens. And the second biggest reason is when you find out, you don't know what you should do moving forward. So after watching this video, you'll know exactly how to protect yourself and move in every scenario we bring up. First up, she always has excuses for not spending time with you. Now, she might say she's busy working or she's out with her homegirls. And if you confront her about this, she might try to say something like, you know, I gotta work and me and my friends always do X, Y, and Z. So why are you tripping? I get the work part, but if she got time to hang out with other people and not you, it's time to face the truth, fellas. She's not invested as you are. If a woman constantly has reasons to avoid spending time with you, it's a major red flag. When her excuses start piling up, especially for important moments, it's a sign she's not prioritizing you. Next up, she never introduces you to her friends or family. If months go by and you ain't met a single friend and you know she spent a lot of time with him. She's keeping you in the dark, brother. When she acts like this, she don't look at you as long-term material. If a woman is serious about you, she's gonna want you to meet the important people in her life. If she's keeping you hidden away, that's a clear sign she's playing games. Next up, she's always on her phone when y'all are together. You're out on a date and you're trying to have a conversation with her, but she keeps checking her phone every few minutes. Fellas, if this is happening, you're competing for her attention. And trust me, this is something a man should never have to do, especially if you're taking time out of your life to get to know her. A woman who appreciates a man's time never lets herself get distracted during a conversation. This is something women do with other women, not with men. If she constantly gets on her phone when you're spending time with her, it's a sign that you are not her priority. It doesn't matter what it is. It shows a lack of interest in the moment you're sharing together. Next thing on this list, she allows men to hold conversations with her in front of you. Now, it's already disrespectful enough that this may be happening when you're not around. You still need to check her on that too. But if she's doing this in front of you, she's way out of line. She might say she's being friendly. And sometimes men or women will walk up to her for small talk and it's nothing to worry about. Don't fall for this, bro. You and I know that men always have ulterior motives, especially when we randomly walk up to a woman we don't know and start having a conversation. We probably act like we just having small talk. But the game women don't understand or act like they don't understand is that this is part of the plan. If she allows us to hold a conversation, that's all we need. We don't have to seal the deal at the moment. As long as we know she'll allow conversation when we want it with her, we gonna take the next step when we know she's comfortable. It's a process to it. And a lot of women are oblivious to the fact that they are being reeled in through conversation. Now, a lot of women don't know this. So you're gonna have to educate her on this. And once you do make this known to them, you need to understand that women love attention. It's like kryptonite to them. A woman who respects and values you will never disrespect you by seeking attention from other men, especially in front of you. If she continues to do this, she's keeping her options open. Next up, she only reaches out when she needs something. Imagine she hasn't texted you in days, but suddenly she's hitting you up because her car broke down or she needs some help paying for something. Don't ignore this pattern. If you're only around when it's convenient for her, she's not seeing you as priority. Now you might get some cheeks for your services, but at the end of the day, you're just a guy for transactional purposes. And that might not be the outcomes you want. Now she might say, well, you're supposed to help her because that's what a man's supposed to do. Don't fall for that, bro. If she's only calling or texting when she needs a favor, it's obvious she's using you. Ain't nothing wrong with helping your girl out if you want to help her, not because you're obligated to. A woman who see you for more than your money wants to do more than just hit you up when she's down and out. She's going to want to spend time and bond with you so y'all can grow into something long term, not one-sided transactions. Next on this list, she avoids serious conversations about the future. If you bring up the idea of meeting each other's families or planning the future together and she all of a sudden gets busy or says, let's not rush things. This is a major sign she's keeping her options open and for her, it's just too much 
much work to have to walk away from you after moving further into a long-term relationship. When a woman constantly dodges conversations about the future, this means she's not taking a relationship seriously. A woman who sees a future with you will never shy away from the conversation about the future. Next up, she keeps bringing up her exes. Now, a lot of men fail to recognize this because most women who bring up their ex, they, they do it indirectly or subliminal. For example, if you take her out to a restaurant and she says, why are we here? I'd rather you take me here. This is one of the places I love being taken to. This means she is responding from a memory or experience that her ex imprinted on her when he had her. And sadly, a lot of women don't realize that they are exposing that they are unimpressionable. So they can get reckless when it comes to getting you to do the things her ex did for her that brought her joy. This typically happens with women who have had a lot of experience. And sometimes you're gonna run into women who've been ran through. And that don't only mean in the sheets. It also means all of the possible experiences you could introduce to her for her first time are limited because she's been around a block a number of times. But I'd be wrong if I don't mention the women who bring up their exes directly. When women do this, it's not a coincidence. It's her way of reminding you that she's still thinking about him which puts you in a vulnerable spot. If she does this often, it's a sign she's not over him. And this tactic can make you feel insecure, which is exactly what she wants. Next up, which is very important, she makes you feel guilty for having boundaries. For example, you tell her you're not comfortable with her going out late every weekend or dressing a specific way that may appear to display promiscuity. And instead of respecting your feelings, she flips it, calling you controlling or insecure. Fellas, this is serious. This is emotional emotional manipulation. When a man established boundaries, this is his way of demanding respect. And in this scenario, it's his way of exercising his protection. This is what men are supposed to do. If a woman who wants you to protect her, but challenges you and calls you controlling when you start implementing your direction so she can stay out of harm's way, is combative and for the streets. What a lot of women fail to realize is that not only are we to protect her, but we also protect our image. And if she is to be an extension of us, then her behavior and how she looks impact our image and reputation. So if she's out in the streets at zero dark thirsty, dressed like a 304, she's not worthy. Boundaries are essential in any healthy relationship. When she tries to make you the bad guy for setting them, she's testing how much control she has over you. Next up, she only compliments you when she wants something. If she tells you how amazing you are, how good you look, or how lucky she is to have you right before asking for a favor, like borrowing money or help with something she should handle herself. She is playing you. She don't give a damn about all that. She about her money. And if you ain't got it, you ain't getting no compliments. Genuine appreciation comes without strings attached. If her compliments are followed by requests, it's manipulation disguised as admiration. Now, before we get into the last one, I want you to go into the description of this video and take my compatibility quiz. You can take it with your partner or you can just do it alone. What this quiz does is make you aware of potential issues that could arise in your current or future relationships when it comes to being evenly yoked. So so make sure you check that out before you leave this video. Now, this next one is very important. A lot of men have sent me emails asking me to mention this. So shout out to y'all for reaching out. It's when she threatens to leave whenever things don't go her way. Imagine you have a disagreement and instead of talking it out, she says something like, maybe we should just break up or I can find someone else. This is her way of controlling the narrative and keeping you on edge. A woman who truly cares about you will work through problems, not use the threat of leaving to manipulate you. This is by far one of the most toxic power plays she can make. Fellas, you really need to take this into serious consideration before continuing to deal with this woman. Once I hear shit like this out of a woman's mouth, I'm done. I don't deal with a woman who won't compromise. Compromise is one of the most valuable qualities a woman can bring to a relationship because it shows she's willing to submit to the leadership of her man. Without this, you're setting yourself up for constant conflict. A woman who compromises knows how to be led. She trusts her man's judgment and understands that sometimes it's in the best interest of the relationship to shift her position. And if she doesn't, she's not the right one for long-term commitment. She belongs to the streets. Now, sometimes you're going to run into women who are like this. We all make mistakes, brother. It's okay. This is one of the biggest reasons I'm here for you. And to help you out even further, I created a list of 10 most dangerous mistakes men make in relationships. So check this video out and I'll see you on the next one.